Rubius Hagrid is a fictional character in the Harry Potter book series written by J.K. Rowling. He is introduced in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone as a half-giant and half-human who is the gamekeeper and keeper of keys and grounds of Hogwarts, the primary setting for the first six novels. In the third novel Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Hagrid is promoted to care of magical creatures professor, and is later revealed to be a member of the Order of the Phoenix. A loyal, friendly, soft-hearted personality who is easily brought to tears, he is also known for his thick West Country accent. Hagrid was portrayed by Robbie Coltrane in all eight Harry Potter films, from Philosopher's Stone in 2001 to Deathly Hallows Part 2 in 2011. Early Life and Education Coltrane was born Anthony Robert Macmillan on March 30, 1950 in Rutherglen, Scotland, the son of Jean Ross Howie, a teacher and pianist, and Ian Baxter Macmillan, a GP who also served as a forensic police surgeon. He had an older sister, Annie, and a younger sister, Jane. Coltrane was the great-grandson of Scottish businessman Thomas W. Howie and the nephew of businessman Forbes Howie. He started his education at Belmont House School in Newton Mearns before moving to Glenelmond College, an independent school in Perthshire. Though he later described his experiences there as deeply unhappy, he played for the rugby first 15, was head of the school's debating society, and won prizes for his art. He studied painting at the Glasgow School of Art. Coltrane later called for private schools to be banned and used to be known as Red Robbie, rebelling against his conservative upbringing through involvement with Amnesty International, Greenpeace, the Labour Party, and the campaign for nuclear disarmament. Career Coltrane moved into acting in his early 20s, adopting the stage name Coltrane and working in theatre and comedy. He appeared in the first stage production of John Byrne's The Slab Boys, at the Traverse Theatre in Edinburgh. His comedic abilities brought him roles in the comic strip Presents series, as well as the comedy sketch show Al Fresco. In 1984 he appeared in A Kick Up the 80s and Laugh. I nearly paid my license fee, and is credited as a writer for both. Coltrane moved into roles in films such as Flash Gordon, Death Watch, Balam, Gateway to the South, Scrubbers, Krull, The Supergrass, Defense of the Realm, Absolute Beginners, Mona Lisa, and appeared as Annabelle in The Fruit Machine. On television, he appeared in The Young Ones, Tutti Fruity, as Samuel Johnson in Black Adder III, LWT's The Robbie Coltrane Special, and in other stand up and sketch comedy shows. He played the part of Falstaff in Kenneth Branagh's Henry V. The same year he starred opposite Jeremy Irons in the television film adaptation of Roald Dahl's children's book Danny, The Champion of the World. He co starred with Eric Idle in Nuns on the Run and played the Pope in The Pope Must Die. He also played a would be private detective obsessed with Humphrey Bogart in the TV film The Bogey Man. His roles continued in the 1990s with the TV series Cracker, in which he starred as forensic psychologist Dr. Edward Fitz Fitzgerald. The role won him three BAFTA awards. Roles in bigger films followed, the James Bond films Goldeneye and The World Is Not Enough, a supporting role in From Hell, as well as half-giant Rubius Hagrid in the Harry Potter films. J.K. Rowling, author of the Harry Potter books, had Coltrane at the top of her list to play Hagrid and, when asked whom she would like to see in the role, responded Robbie Coltrane for Hagrid in one quick breath. Coltrane also presented a number of documentary programs for the British ITV network based around his twin passions for travel and transportation. Coltrane in a Cadillac saw him cross North America from Los Angeles to New York City behind the wheel of a 1951 Cadillac Series 62 Coupe Convertible, a journey of 3,765 miles, which he completed in 32 days. In 1997, Coltrane appeared in a series of six programs under the title Coltrane's Planes and Automobiles, in which he extolled the virtues of the steam engine, the diesel engine, the supercharger, the V8 engine, the two-stroke engine, and the jet engine. 
In these programs he dismantled and rebuilt several engines. He also single-handedly removed the engine from a Trabant car in 23 minutes. In September 2006, Coltrane was voted number 11 in ITV's TV's 50 Greatest Stars and sixth in a poll of 2,000 adults across the UK to find the most famous Scott, behind the Loch Ness Monster, Robert Burns, Sean Connery, Robert the Bruce, and William Wallace. In August 2007, Coltrane presented a series for ITV called Bureaued Britain, in which he travelled from London to Glasgow, stopping in towns and villages along the way. Coltrane voiced characters in several animated films, including The Tale of Despero's Pixar's Brave, as well as the title roles of Gooby and the Gruffalo. In 2016, Coltrane starred in National Treasure a four-part drama in which he played a former comedian accused of historic sexual offences. He was nominated for Best Actor at the 2017 British Academy Television Awards, and won in the category at the Royal Television Society Programme Awards. Maureen Ryan of Variety wrote that Coltrane does a masterful job of depicting every nuance of the character, whose wicked sense of humour masks a startling, and possibly intentional, Lack of self-awareness Personal life Coltrane met Rona Gemmel, a police instructor, in the late 1980s. The couple had two children, son Spencer, and daughter Alice. Coltrane and Gemmel married in 1999, but separated in 2003, and later divorced but the two remained close. In February 2005, Coltrane appeared at a Scottish labour event in which he said on the question of Scottish independence it's a very complicated issue. I would think, probably, eventually I would like to see independence but only an independent Labour Scotland, while adding it would have to be terribly carefully considered. There are all sorts of advantages to being part of the United Kingdom and it would be foolish to throw it away immediately and I have no time for the nationalists all they can do is split the vote for home rule and let the Tories in. Illness and death Coltrane suffered from osteoarthritis in later life. He said he was in constant pain all day in 2016, and from 2019 on he employed a wheelchair. Coltrane died at Forth Valley Royal Hospital in Larbot, Scotland, on October 14, 2022, at the age of 72. He had been ill for two years prior to his death. His death was registered by his ex-wife Rona Gemmel, the death certificate listed the causes as multiple organ failure complicated by sepsis, a lower respiratory tract infection, and heart block. He had also been diagnosed with obesity and type 2 diabetes. Acting Credits Film Television Theater Music Video